Today, I'm doing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But we're in outer space. And little does my friend Hockey know that I secretly put a bunch of security cameras on his side of the map so I can spy on him and see exactly what mob he's going to place down. Anyways, Hockey, are you ready for this Minecraft mob battle in space? I'm ready. Willy, why is this mob dying? Well, since we're in outer space, these mobs need to breathe. Oh, no. But if you give the mobs the these oxygen masks, they can actually survive in space. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, Hockey, are you ready to go place your mobs? I'm ready. All right, now make sure they have oxygen masks and go place them. Okay. Now we can go spy on Hockey. Just choose our second camera here and there he is. And now we need to see what he's going to place so we can counter it and then we'll win every single battle. Okay, he is placing blazes down. Oh, wait a minute. All of his blazes are dying because he didn't even give them oxygen masks. He's so silly. How did he even forget? And he's trying to give them it, it looks like. But it's just not working. And they all died. But now he spawns skeletons and they all have glass on their heads so they can breathe. And now we're going to need to find a way to counter these skeletons. And since there is a lot of them, this is going to be a little bit hard. But since it's only the first round, these mobs are going to be a little bit less OP than the ones that come later in the video. And at the end of the video, the final battle is going to be absolutely insane. So if you didn't know, these wolves can completely counter skeletons and they don't even need to breathe oxygen for some reason, but it's kind of weird. So we'll just spawn a bunch of them and then these wolves can counter the skeletons because they really like chewing on bones and the skeletons are made of bones. Hockey won't even notice that we're going to place this mob to counter him. He'll think we're just going to get lucky. And there we go. We should have enough of these dogs. All right, let's see if Hockey's ready to fight. Hockey, are you ready to battle? I'm ready to battle. Okay, so that means the walls are going to come down in three, two, one, go. And oh my goodness, you placed killer dogs. I did place killer dogs. And since they really like bones, they're going to chew up all of your skeletons. No, this is bad. Look at this army of dogs. They're going to chase all these skeletons around and they're going to maybe even fall off the edge. Look at this guy. He has golden armor. Oh, this is terrible. Oh my goodness, that skeleton just got destroyed. These skeletons are running away from all the dogs. They probably can't even see very well since they have to wear these glass helmets. How did you get so lucky and place dogs down? I don't even know. I guess I just got really lucky this round by placing these dogs. I didn't even know you are going to place skeletons. There's only like two more skeletons left, Willy. Yeah, there's only like two left and they're going to die really soon. And he's almost about to die. And he just died, Hockey. I just won that battle. No! But Hockey, now that it's round two, we can start placing some even better mobs. So let's go choose our mobs. Okay. Okay, so now we can spy on Hockey using the security cameras that I placed on the other plants on his side of the map. Look, we can see our other cameras just over there. But now we need to see what he's going to place down. And remember, we're going to choose the exact counter and it looks like he placed place down an ender guardian but he didn't just place one he placed like three of them now these guys will have a massive advantage since we're already in outer space and they're also pretty overpowered so we need to find a counter to completely destroy them and win the battle so let's get out of the camera and find something that can counter these ender mobs now they are pretty overpowered but they have one weakness and that is wither skeletons because these wither skeletons can pierce through their armor with their wither effects which will do some insane damage to these ender guardians but we're gonna need to place a lot of these wither skeletons if we want to win because the ender guardians do a lot of damage and let's just fill our entire arena with these wither skeletons all right we need just to spawn a few more come on i'm clicking as fast as i can to spawn all of these and i'm pretty sure that is enough of them so now we need to see if hockey is ready to battle okay hockey are you ready to battle i'm ready all right hockey that means the walls are gonna come down in three two one go okay okay hockey so it looks like you spawned these ender guardians yeah and you spawned in wither skeletons yes but my wither skeletons will actually counter your ender guardians because the wither effect can damage them through their armor what how do you place like the perfect counter i don't know but all i do know is that this battle is going to be absolute chaos look this wither skeleton's attacking him and he's going to take so much damage oh my goodness how'd you get so lucky but luckily my ender 
our guardians do extra damage because we're in space. You're right, but I don't even think it will be enough to win against me. Because like we know, we I chose the perfect counter. Yeah, you did get lucky. I don't even know how I got that lucky, but it's kind of weird. So let's look at these guys. They're all chasing this ender guardian and he's losing a lot of health. Look at the top of the screen. Oh my goodness, it's destroying all your, all your wither skeletons are destroying me. Yes, they are. Look, they're almost at half health and I still have a ton of wither skeletons. Look at the map. Oh my goodness, you're so lucky. I am kind of lucky, but maybe you'll get lucky next round. So who knows? Oh, uh, I definitely will get lucky next round. No, you won't. I really hope I do, but oh my, come on, wither skeleton. No, that wither skeleton just died. Come on, wither skeletons. You saw your friend just guy attack back. My goodness, this is a crazy battle. All right, I'm gonna, should I kill like two of them? And Wilson, it looks like two of my ender guardians died, which means there's only one more. Yes, you're right. Two of them already died to my wither skeletons and this one is on half health, but it just killed a bunch of my wither skeletons. Oh my God, hockey. Did you see that insane move this ender guardian just used that was insane here uh, i'll lower it for you willie my ender guardian is so low at hp but i only have a few wither skeletons left this is gonna be so close oh my i only have like five left come on wither skeletons you see how low he is just to win oh my goodness come on ender guardian you got this he's going he's shooting it's like a 1v1 he doesn't even realize it oh my goodness this is so close this is gonna be down to the wire willie oh i just won hockey you see that Yes. No. Now, Hockey, I just won that battle. And because and because I won the first one, that means I am in the lead. Oh, dang it. And if I keep winning, I'll definitely become the champion. So you better start winning soon, Hockey. Anyways, let's go to the next round. Okay. So, guys, as you know, I just won that round by cheating and Hockey didn't even realize it. So, we're going to do that exact same thing again. Um, Which camera should we choose? How about number four? Ooh, this camera's pretty cool, but where even is Hockey? Oh, there he is. All right, let's zoom in to get a better look and see what he's going to place down. Oh, my goodness. What the heck? He just spawned two different types of mobs. And they are literally attacking each other. But it looks like the fighting stopped. Now, these guys look like they throw little tiny explosives. And these look like deep demon dogs and he spawned a whole bunch i'll get a different camera angle so we can see them a little bit better let's go for number two all right look we can even see our planets way over there but it looks like he spawned a bunch of them so let's find a counter and it is the second round now so we could start placing some more op mobs because the further we go into the video the more overpowered they get until the final round anyways let's find a mob to choose now since they spawned explosives we need to choose mutant zombies because these guys can't even died to explosions that much so we'll spawn like six of them just like that look and he also spawned those dogs which these dune zombies will definitely be able to take care of and just to prove how op they are i'm gonna go into survival and look they're already shredding the ground with their fists and it's doing a lot of damage and i was just launched into the air yep they're definitely gonna take out the dogs super fast and i'm pretty sure that we're ready for this battle but i need your guys' help if you think i'm gonna win this battle with these op mutant zombies make sure to comment hashtag t Team Willy, so then you can make sure that I win. And you do not want to be a loser, so make sure to do it quickly. Anyways, Hockey, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, I'm going to lower the walls in three, two, one, and go. Oh my goodness, you played mutant zombies? Yes, I did place mutant zombies, and it looks like you placed these. I don't even know what this guy's called, but he's throwing some little tiny explosive. Yes, he is, and you have so many mutant zombies. I do, and once they start coming to your side of the arena, they're going to destroy all your mobs oh that's so unfair i know but i guess i got super lucky again since these mutant zombies can't die to explosions and also just destroyed all of your dogs where did they even go oh but look this little guy is getting destroyed and he's about to fall off the edge or he might just die quickly and he just died that just shows how op my mutant zombies are and they're also spawning normal zombies which can help out too and you have like four of those guys left oh my goodness how do you place like the perfect counter i only have like Four guys, what? I don't even know hockey, but it is pretty rare that I place the most overpowered guy twice in a row. So we'll just have to see if it happens again in the third round, but 
As for the battle, it is looking pretty chaotic over here as one of you guys just died and is a massive army versus just two of these guys. This better, this guy better get off the edge or he might fall in. Do the endless void way down there and I would not want to fall in there. Oh my goodness. And they're starting to get surrounded by all of these mutant zombies. That's so unfair and I only have one guy left, Willy. Oh my, and that guy just died. And look, this bomb is doing absolutely nothing to my guys. Oh, he just died too. What? Hockey, I I just won again. Oh, you're so lucky, Willie. I know, it's kind of weird, but whatever. Let's just move to the next round like that didn't even happen. Okay, then. Hockey, if I keep winning, I'll become the champion and you won't. So, yep, go choose your mobs. Okay. Unfortunately for Hockey, we won again because we were using this secret security mod thingy. And where the heck are we? I just chose a camera that is super low down. But you know what that means? We're going to spy on Hockey again to cheat. But he's way too far away. Let's switch cameras. How about number one? Yeah, this camera is perfect. And he seems to be holding a massive sword. That is a little bit strange. What is he going to do with the sword? And he's literally flying way up there. Okay, he's probably choosing a mob right now or something. So let's just wait. Oh, and he's placing something. And these appear to be mutant skeletons. Let's just get a little bit of a better view. Yep, these are definitely mutant skeletons and they have massive bows in their hand. And he spawned like seven of them. So we need to find something that can counter these guys because they can literally shoot you from really, really far away. And wait a minute, did you just see that? You almost saw me through the wall. But let's get out of the camera from the planets that are on our side as well over here too. That's so cool. And choose something that can shoot farther than the wither, farther than the OP mutant wither, and the OP mutant skeletons. Because that's the only way we can counter him and i think the perfect mob for that is the mutant snow golem because this guy can shoot from insanely far away so let's spawn a bunch of them just around the arena here yep that should be pretty perfect our side of the arena is also going to be covered in snow too that's going to be pretty weird and yep we are definitely ready for this battle so i wonder if hockey is ready too um all right hockey i just finished my army and it's looking pretty cool what about you it's doing so so good. All right, are you ready for the walls to be lowered? I am. All right, I'm gonna release them in three, two, one, go. Oh my goodness, you placed so many mutant snow golems, Willie. Yes, I did, and I'm pretty sure they can shoot farther than these mutant skeletons, which is basically the only way I could have possibly beaten you. That is insane, Willie. I know it is, Hockey, and look, this guy is getting bombarded by a bunch of ice. What absolute chaos, and That's he just insane. died. insane. You're absolutely destroying me, Willie. You got the perfect counter. I did, but one of my snow golems just died, but it's okay since I have so many left. Look at all the ice blocks attacking. This is insane. One just died and another one is left. Oh my goodness. Don't Yo. get knocked off the edge. Oh my, he's jumping around, but I got a bunch. Come on, come on, come on. There's no way you can make this awesome comeback, but yes, he just got destroyed hockey. Look how many of these guys I have left and they covered the entirety of this outer space island and snow. What the heck? What? This is so much snow, Will. You got so lucky. I did. That is super, super weird. I don't even know how that keeps happening, but I guess the only thing left to do is to move to the next round, Hockey. Okay, then, Willie. But remember, Hockey, this round is kind of later in the battle, so we can play some super OP mobs this time. Awesome. All right, go choose. Okay. Okay, guys, now it's one of the later rounds, and that means Hockey is going to be placing some incredibly OP mobs. So like every other round, we're going to spy on him, and the funniest thing is he hasn't even realized I literally attached security cameras to his planets. I mean, look at Earth over there. It's got one. Okay, hmm, I wonder what he's placing. He's probably choosing a mob right now again. Okay, and he's going... Oh my goodness, guys. Now, it is one of the more OP rounds, and that means he literally just placed down the Ignis. And if you didn't know, this guy is extremely OP, and Hockey seems to be attacking it, but it's not even losing any health, as you can see at the top of the screen. So, we need to find a way to kill this guy, and look, we just literally saw ourselves through the wall. That was super, super weird. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think, what can we use to beat this guy? I guess we'll just look through some mobs. How about the mutant creeper? Will this guy work? Actually, he probably won't since creepers are kind of allergic to space because they need air to go super fast and this guy's going to go super slow if he doesn't have any air. So that is not going to work. Okay, I just killed it. What? It just made a massive explosion. What the heck, creeper? That was not nice. Okay, let's go over here.
here to spawn our mobs. Hmm, how about this guy? This is a whirlwind and he's literally pulling me towards him. That is super weird, but I can't watch the battle if I'm stuck inside of this guy and he almost just threw me off the edge. Yep, not gonna work either. Hold on, I just know the perfect counter. Since we're kind of in space, might as well place a space mob. And this is the Cosmic Fiend, guys. So if I just place it down now, it will actually wreck the arena since it can literally break Bedrock. Meaning I'll place it right before the walls drop. That's definitely the only way we can beat Aki's Ignis on his side of the battle. Look, there it is. And it's looking straight at us. Mm, okay, I'm kind of scared, but there's nothing else to do except start the battle. All right, Hockey, is your army finished and are you ready to battle? I'm ready to battle. All right, I'm going to remove the walls in three, two, one, go. Oh my goodness, will you place the Cosmic Fiend? I did. Look at this guy's insane teeth and his massive shake. And Willy, they're both going into the void. Hockey, do you know what this means? What? It means that your Ignis just fell into the void and as you can see, its health bar is depleting, meaning it is going to die. What? Does that mean you won, Willy? It does mean I won the battle because the Cosmic Fiend won't die as quickly since it's literally made out of cosmic and was born in space. Oh my goodness, Will, you're so lucky. I know that Cosmic Fiend is so OP, but it kind of break all the bedrock here. So we need to fix the arena. But anyways, Hockey, the next round is going to be an insane round because the next round is the final round. Oh my goodness, Will, I'm going to place the most OP mob ever. No, you're not. I am. Um, well, I say we go choose our mobs. Me too. Let's go. Guys, we just won a battle again, but it was super, super close because our Cosmic Fiend almost died in the void. But that is kind of the problem with the Cosmic Fiend. It can break better. I can fall into the void way down there. So let's get back up here before we might accidentally fall. And this time I'm going to check on our final camera, which is the secret camera, number five. Now this camera can actually see both sides of the arena. There I am looking into the camera and over here is Hockey's side and he's way over there. All right, let's find out what hockey decides to place down for this final rattle and it'll probably be really op so we're gonna counter it with something even more op and have a chaotic battle all right oh my goodness what is that thing it is super tiny it is not gonna work hockey even knows that but if that's not gonna work then what is oh my that is the same thing but much much bigger look we kind of need to zoom out that's how big it is now look at hockey he looks so proud that means these guys are probably super Super, super OP. Oh no, uh, how am I gonna beat them? Okay, well, there is only one thing I can think of to beat those massive looking dinosaur jaguar guys. I don't even know what they're called. And that is to summon like 1,000 Endermen. Because if you guys didn't know, Endermen are kind of from the area of space, meaning they will get a massive advantage of space, like faster speed, more damage, and more health. And that will definitely make us win the battle, even though Hockey plays some Something extremely OP. So we'll just place our entire arena full of these guys. Look, it literally looks like the end right now, even though we're in space. All right, I think we're like halfway to a thousand. So let's just spawn a bunch more. Come on. Go, go, go. Place all the mobs. Place all the mobs. And I think we're almost done placing Enderman right now. Yep, we are done. And Hockey will definitely not expect this. I can't wait to see his reaction to this final battle, which, by the way, is going to be the most chaotic battle you'll probably ever see um but there's nothing else we can do except get ready for the battle hey hockey are you ready i'm ready all right my army's super op and your probably is too so let's start the battle in five four three two one go let's go and oh my goodness you have so many endermen just wait until my guys see them hockey look my endermen are surrounding your massive hyena looking dog thingies and look they're all gonna get mad at once and attack them super duper fast oh my goodness willie how'd you place like the best enderman counter i don't even know hockey i just thought that the endermen are super op and since it's the final round and we gotta have the most epic battle i placed just that and that so happens to counter your 
your massive hyenas. This is gonna be an insane battle. This is gonna be crazy. Hockey, I just won that battle and I think I still have all of my Endermen left. That was super chaotic. You're so OP, Willie. How do you keep doing that? Okay, Hockey, so there's one thing I didn't tell you. You know how we're kind of in outer space right now? Yeah. Well, despite all these Endermen being here, since we have planets, I thought it'd be a good idea to come over here and look, I placed a camera on every single one of your planets so I can look at your mob, spy on you, and choose the exact counters and win every time. You were cheating? Yes, I was. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe right now and click the video on screen.